Hey guys, how's it going? So, a couple months ago, I got a guitar called a Wolf Guitars uh, WLP. And basically, it's a really nice uh, Les Paul style guitar. I did a review on it a while back, and I'll put a link to that in the video description. But it just turned out to be a really, really good value. And the guitar turned out to be actually really popular, and I think they, they pretty much sold out in a few days. Well, that guitar was so cool, and you know, Finding that new brand out was kind of like an eye-opening thing to me because I, I had never heard of the brand before. Anyway, make a long story short, I wanted to check out some of their other guitars. So today I've got a new Wolf guitar and this is called the WPRS. Now clearly this is uh, along the lines of a PRS guitar, very similar in terms of the body shape and the general layout. And like that Les Paul style guitar that I reviewed, this one has turned out to be really cool as well. This is actually even less expensive than that other one. You can get this brand new for about $320, and that includes shipping in the United States. So anyway, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and check out the specs of this guitar. The body and the neck is mahogany, and you can see here it's a set neck joint. On the top, we've got a quilt maple top, and this one just has a natural finish on it. Now, the fretboard is actually ebony, and it's 22 frets, and these are like nice medium jumbo frets. They're finished really well, they're leveled really well, they're really polished and all that stuff right out of the box. Now, up at the top here, like the other, uh, like the other Les Paul style guitar, this has Grover tuners on it here, and they're really smooth, really nice. The logo up here and then the inlays on the fretboard are abalone, and then down here we've got a couple of the Wolf brand pickups. Now something about these pickups, these are actually the same ones that were in the other Les Paul style guitar. These are not like your run-of-the-mill generic knockoff pickups that come with a lot of import guitars. These guitars are made in South Korea, but they're made to a really high standard and they've kind of gone the extra mile on the pickups. And honestly, that's what separates this stuff from some of the other nicer import guitars. These are not pickups that you're going to have to swap out later on. They're great just the way they are. And in particular on this guitar, they have some really nice harmonics that you'll hear in the playing demo. For the bridge here, we just have a nice wraparound tailpiece, which makes it really easy to do string changes. All right, guys, so those are the specs, and this is a great looking guitar, but let's plug it in and listen to how it sounds.
All right, guys, so that is the Wolf Guitars WPRS. Now, a few things I want to say right off the bat that I really like about this guitar. One is the balance of the guitar, both physically, how the weight balances of the guitar, and also the balance of the tone of the guitar. It's got some really nice harmonics, a lot of clarity, but it also has a nice warmth and sort of organic sound to it. So it never gets, you know, it has the clarity and the articulation, but it never gets too piercing or too harsh sounding. The other thing, which is a big plus about this brand in general, this guitar is no exception, is these come set up already when they ship them to you. So kind of like the Sweetwater stuff, actually. They go through a nice uh, inspection and set up ahead of time. So when you get it, all you have to do is just, you know, tune it up a little bit and you're pretty much ready to play. If you compare this guitar to like the PRS SE series, even those guitars, which are the less expensive PRS guitars, those are still more expensive than these ones are. And you get some cool things with this, like the ebony fretboard that you don't get with those PRSs. Now the only real difference here, and I'm really nitpicking on this, is the scale length. This is a standard Gibson style scale length, so it's 24 and 3 quarter inches, as opposed to the 25 inch, which is the PRS scale. It's kind of a weird scale that kind of went in between the 25 and a half that the Fender has and the 24 and 3 quarters that the Gibson has. This just has a standard Gibson scale, so it's going to be a quarter of an inch shorter on the scale length than a standard PRS is. But I mean, honestly, if anybody can actually tell the difference when they're playing, I'd be pretty impressed. For anybody out there who doesn't know what I'm talking about when I say scale length, it's just the distance from the nut to the bridge, basically how long the string is when you're playing the guitar. Of course, I love the quilt maple finish on this guitar, and even the back of the guitar. I mean, you can see the wood grain really nicely of the mahogany, and with this finish on here, it just looks great. All right, guys, so there you go. That's the WPRS from Wolf Guitars. You can get it in this finish, and they also have a lot of other finishes, too. As always, I'll put some links below in the video description for where you can find these. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you soon.